episode 29, John Bonet case, Lawyers. According to this published story, the following evening at the Fernie's house in South Boulder, Detective Linda Arndt approached John Ramsey, but Ramsey's lawyer friend, Mike Bynum, cut off the conversation, telling Arndt that legal advisors had been retained to speak for the Ramseys. The next day, the police were informed that the Ramseys had nothing more to say and would answer no further questions. John Ramsey decided his wife should have her own lawyers, and he retained Patrick Burke and Patrick Furman. Within a week of the murder, a media consultant named Pat Corden was also brought aboard, later to be replaced by Rochelle Zimmer and Lori Wagner. In July, Denver's premier publicist, Charles Russell, was added to the payroll. John Ramsey's friend, attorney Mike Bynum, introduced Ramsey to the law firm of Hayden, Morgan, and Foreman. And there, Brian Morgan became John's main attorney in the case. The Ramsey's police interviews finally took place on April 30th four months after the murder. After being pounded for refusing to cooperate with the police, the Ramseys gave in to separate interviews, but they held fast to their demand for a copy of the entire police file and the presence of Hofstrom. Patrick Burke and one of his private investigators sat sat next to Patsy who answered questions for six and a half hours. John Ramsey was accompanied by Byron Morgan and another private investigator for his 90-minute session. Assistant District Attorney Hofstrom is an old friend of several of the Ramsey's lawyers, and he often socializes with Haddon's partner, Byron Morgan. To make a long story short, John Ramsey's lawyer was friends with the assistant district attorney in this case, and the district attorney was friends with the heads of the law firm hired to represent John Ramsey. In my opinion, John Ramsey was never really considered a suspect by the district attorney's office, and Patsy was considered a suspect. You can see this for yourself because John was interviewed for an hour and a half and Patsy was interviewed for six and a half hours. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved and the next episode will be published next weekend and it will answer some big questions. So I'll see you the next time and keep those comments flying.